Deuterate campaigns for admin bets in Negros Occidental. President Rodrigo Duterte endorsed five senatorial bets and six guest candidates of the ruling Partido Democrático Pilipino Lacazang Bayan, PDP Laban, during their campaign rally in Victoria City here, Friday night, March 8. Duterte asked the more than 30,000 migrants crowd to support the bids of Senator Aquilino Pimentel III, Magindanao representatives Ajit Mangadonatu, former special assistant to the president Christopher Lawrence Go, former top cop Ronald De La Rosa, and former presidential advisor Francis Dolentino. He also made a pitch for the candidacies of re-electionist Senators Juan Edgardo Anga Ura, Joseph Victor Agercito and Cynthia Villar, Ilocos Nord Governor Raimi Marcos, Tegig City Representative Pia K. Anno, and former Interior Secretary Rafael Lunin. Duterte, in his speech, praised his candidates and told the crowd why they should vote for them. Negros Occidental is one of the voterage provinces in the country with about 1.7 million registered voters for the 2019 midterm polls. He first praised Villar for being a working mother and admired her rapid rise in wealth. She is strict. I don't see any reason why we should not re elect her. She is a worker and she has the interest of the country. The president called Anga Ura very bright, adding he never criticized the senator, but the other way around. He criticizes us but not personal but the way we handle important matters. He would call our attention. For him, Kano is really a fighter for the cause of women, adding she's a hard-working and worthy daughter of a worthy father. He described Dolentino as very good when he was the mayor of Tecte. You saw Tecte, how clean, how peaceful it was. He governed it well while he called Pimentel as the bar top notcher, senator, and human rights lawyer. The president said Go was very honest, saying that he handled millions of pesos without a cent being stolen. Duterte also highlighted honesty for ex-police chief De La Rosa, one of the most loyal policemen to him ever since he was a mayor of Davao City. Duterte said Mangadadatu was a member of a clan who never took arms against the government, while he praised Aimee Marcos for her colorful life and experience in local government. He addressed critics of Marcos who remember the dark martial law regime led by her father late dictator Ferdinand Marcos, saying that the sins of the father cannot visit the daughter. The president then recognized that a Jercito goes against the administration, but he said he respects his ethics in work. He then described former military Manalunan as very good and brilliant, 